it brings me this to this little event which took place during the winter of 1918 and 1919 it was called the spanish influenza and after the spanish influenza came and went the board of health nationwide declared that people have to keep their bedroom windows open to let in fresh air to prevent influenza pneumonia tuberculosis and people went beyond that they kept not only the bedroom windows open they kept the uh <laughs> windows open in the whole house and I noticed this in doing research for the book that I wrote called the lost art of steam heating because in the books that were written in the 1920s they began to refer to the fresh air movement and they said in these books that uh, that now that we now that we have the fresh air movement we have to design the heating systems for the coldest day of the year when the wind is blowing and also when the windows are open so they actually began to size boilers and radiation for open window ventilation. And I didn't understand what that was about because they didn't explain the why. They just kept referring to the fresh air movement. So none of this is in the heating textbooks, but I did some research into social history and American history, and I learned about the Spanish influenza, which they never taught me in school. And what was fascinating about this is this is the worst disaster in the history of mankind. This thing came and went, and it didn't start in Spain. It started in, in Kansas in, a, in an army base called Camp Funston. And it, we were involved in the Great War back then. Spain was neutral in the Great War. And because they were neutral, they were able to point out that many people were dying worldwide from this disease. Uh, in America, we didn't want to talk about this because we were, in talking about it, we would have given aid and comfort to the enemy. Uh, the Axis powers felt the same way. They didn't want to talk about it. So nobody wanted to talk about it. But once it came out that there is this, there is this flu that is deadly and it, it's spread by breathing, it's spread by coughing, it's airborne, people would be uh, up in the morning and they'd be well and they'd get on a streetcar and they would be found dead at the end of the run. They, they killed you that quickly. And it was terrible because it went after mostly younger people. And it was, it was so deadly that it killed the estimate is 50 million people in that one winter. Now that is more than died in every war we've ever had. That is that 50 million people represents the entire northeast of America. And this all happened in one winter. And, and it happened because of Spanish influenza. After that, the, uh, the, the virus mutated and it never came back. But if it ever came back again, there is still no cure for this. But it had a dramatic effect on central heating, particularly because of when it happened. This was 1918, 1919. It happens at a, at a period when people are finally beginning to accept and want central heating. So it affects the size of the boilers and the size of the pipes.